I want to appreciate all my subscribers. And for those who are new, feel free to subscribe. Do whatever you want. Um, <laughs> so, welcome to the Mind is the Outer, right? And um, I've been asking questions today. One of the questions that caught my eye was, is witchcraft evil? See, every time you hear the word witchcraft, some of us, you know, it's alarming, you know. We automatically think demonic and, you know, evil spirits. Well, let me tell you, it depends. See, let's say, look at this, uh, let's take a look at this way, right? Guns are not the one killing people. People are killing people using guns. Therefore, guns are just tools. It depends who's using these tools. When it comes to witchcraft, it depends what kind of person is using witchcraft and for what purpose. See, the name witchcraft, it sounds alarming to most people. I don't blame them. I don't blame you because some people gave witchcraft a bad name. Some of us are told that witchcraft is demonic activity or calling the devil to do work for you in exchange of your soul. They even show you movies that witchcraft is demonic, you know. This is just a program for your subconscious mind. But keep in mind, it depends who's using witchcraft and for what purpose. Therefore, those who uses this power for evil deeds, they give witchcraft a bad name. Those who don't have dark spirit within them, they use witchcraft to help others and also heal others by simply using the five elements, herbs and whatever item that is needed to, you know, to, uh, to channel the energy, right? Those those who have dark spirit, they use everything, including sacrificing animals, right? If you have to kill or sacrifice an animal just to manifest something, it is pure evil. If you have to summon an evil spirit just to make things happen, that is pure evil, right? And this is what gives witchcraft a bad name. Remember, they say there's good witch and a bad witch. In this universe, if you are free, see, in this universe, you are free to do whatever it is that you like. But keep in mind, the law of karma will find its way back to you to find balance, right? There's no resistance. You can do whatever it is that you want. That's your free will. But be cautious, right? So, and also remember, some things are meant to be the way they are right now and how they are for a reason. Everything is calculated in the right time frame. What do I mean? Let me give you an example, right? A young man was in love with a girl, but the girl did, didn't love back. You know, the girl did not love him back. So the young man decided to go to a witch doctor to cast a spell. So this girl will fall in love with him, right? The witch doctor casted the spell. A couple of weeks later, the girl contacted the boy. She fell in love. The boy is happy. They move in together. Everything seems to be fine. Until the boy, he found out that she was too obsessed with him to where she kept track of him on every move he makes, right? And threatened the boy to kill him if she found out that he is cheating on her. Overall, the boy learned that he didn't want to live like this anymore. He was like, he was like miserable, right? He didn't like, he didn't like his lifestyle with this girl that he had loved so much before, right? So he goes back to the witch uh, doctor to reverse the spell. The witch doctor says she couldn't reverse it. Now the boy is miserable. See, my point is sometimes we make mistakes by forcing things into our lives and not letting them happen natural this is going against the universe uh, uh this is going against the universe timeline and if you go against the universe timeline well you are changing uh your destiny your future you know not for better but sometimes for worse and and this is what uh, this was the boy's karma for using witchcraft in an evil way Maybe if the boy had waited for everything to fall in 
the right timeline or in place, his future, you know, will be different. And sometimes just because you like something, it don't mean you gotta have it. There's a reason why you can't have it. You know, everything's calculated. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Whether right now you're about to learn a lesson or you already learned a lesson, whatever it is that you're going through, it's all for you, right? So, it is in our nature to use all the elements on this earth for our benefits. But make sure it's for a good reason though, you know? So, it's not about witchcraft is bad. It's about who's using witchcraft and for what purpose, like I said, right? Because the universe will respond to your command. But be careful. Sometimes consequence follows with our action. It's just the law of the universe. So you ask me, is witchcraft bad? Is witchcraft evil? My answer is yes and no, depending who's, who's using it and for what purpose. You know what I'm saying? This is a power, a tool that's given to you if you know how to do witchcraft. But are you a dark, cold-blooded, hard person to where you're going to abuse this power? Or are you going to help or help you, uh, help others or help yourself using this power? Right? I'm running out of time. I'm going to have to cut this shot. I will see you on my next audio. Feel free to subscribe. Whatever you do with your, you know, phone. Uh, like, comment. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, though.